National Care Foundation is a non-governmental organization that provides support to underserved women and girls in Nigeria, especially the northern part of Nigeria. So what we do is to provide economic empowerment for women, leadership for girls, and also different support to also help them start, stay and grow in their business. I got into volunteering when I was just 18 years old in my first year in the university. I volunteered for a non-profit where we're being trained on how to be good leaders and how to be very concerned about people in our local environment. Being a volunteer has been an effective way for me to grow my skills, grow my expertise and become even better in my work in Asha Care Foundation. When the pandemic struck, we started receiving phone calls from our women. These women rely on daily source of income and then they couldn't do anything. And so we started doing fundraising through, through the social media. We started raising money to buy food for them because that was the most important thing they needed then. But they, we also decided that beyond giving them this food, can we also teach them how to make some of the materials that would ensure their safety. We taught them how to make nose masks, taught them how to make hand sanitizers, and we also taught them the value of helping other people. And so while they learned all these things, we showed them how to share to other people. So these things that were made were shared. We visited over 16 communities in Abuja alone, sharing food to different people, orphans, teachers, children, widows, the elderly people, underserved women, and, and every other person we could find help and support to. And then we changed my own perspective about life. I had to learn how to not hug anybody, not um, not meet people. Kids, I have two girls and they had to stop going to school. They had class, they had to do their work at home. I had to learn how to adjust to the new normal. The next step for us is to empower more women. What this COVID has shown to us is that a lot of people are hungry and there's poverty in the land. A lot of people lost their employment, lost their source of livelihood, lost their businesses. And so we have more focus to provide more economic empowerment for women provide more leadership programs for their children and also find every way that we can support them to bounce back after this pandemic, provide emotional support for them because beyond, beyond everything that everybody has lost, we have lost our wheel of joy. And so one of the ways that can help us is to be able to feed, their, feed our families and also provide for our children. And that's what we are doing for the women in underserved communities around. The COVID-19 pandemic is real. A lot of people have lost their lives, their families, women have lost their jobs, their source of income. A lot of people have not been able to recover from it. Every day we have a lot of people dying from this pandemic. And so I want to encourage everybody. This, this pandemic is real, is deadly. It has destroyed a lot of lives. Use your nose masks, stay safe keep your distance and also ensure that you, you keep a very good and hygienic environment. This COVID-19 is, is destructive, but we can stay safe by being responsive to ourselves and to the people around us. Stay safe, everybody.